In this English lesson, I wanted to talk about the difference in pronunciation between reach and rich. This is actually from a question that's uh, from a viewer that I'm going to read later, but I'm going to answer the question first at the beginning of the video. Um, when you reach for something, you reach for something with your hand, it's kind of a longer E sound. You reach for something. I can reach towards the camera. Hopefully that didn't scare you too much. So reach. When you have a lot of money, you are rich. So a rich person has worked really hard in their life or maybe their parents just gave them all their money and they are just really, really rich. So you can reach for something or you can have lots of money and be really, really rich. The other two words I wanted to talk about are peach and pitch. And I'm not gonna talk about beach and the other word because it's not really a good word, but you can eat a peach. Right now it is peach season here in Ontario, Canada. I have been eating a peach every day. They are really, really yummy. We buy them at market, we leave them on the counter so they ripen and then I eat one peach every day. If you don't eat your peaches um, when they're ripe, sometimes they go bad and then you have to pitch them. When you watch a baseball game, the pitcher will throw the ball and we call it pitching. Uh, they will pitch the ball. Uh, you can also pitch a tent by the way. So you can eat a peach and you can also pitch it <laughs> if it's not uh, very good, if it has gone bad. So to review, reach and rich, I'll say them slowly. You can reach for something, or if you have lots of money, you're rich. And then you can eat a peach and you can pitch a baseball. But hey, let's look at that comment from a previous video. I have it right here in my pocket. And it is from Ladelpla. Hi Bob, can you explain to us the difference in pronunciation of the words reach and rich? In this video, you often say reach and it sounds quite short, so I couldn't tell it from rich if not for the context. That my response, I'll make a point of talking about this in the next video, which I already did. So thanks for that comment, Lidelpa. Um, I hope I answered your question. And if you need to, you can go back and listen to those parts of the video over and over again until you get a sense of the right pronunciation and then do some shadowing as well. Shadowing is when you hit pause and you say what I just said and then you rewind and play it again and listen and then you say what I just said. It's a great way to practice your English speaking when you don't have an English speaking partner. Well, hey, um, I'm just kind of walking down here. We uh, had a fire the other day and there are still some remnants here of the fire. I did want to say I'm happy to uh, let you know that I did put some new screws in the picnic table. So I think I mentioned this last year a few times. You can't see where I'm pointing, but I actually finally put some new screws in. And so our old picnic table that was kind of falling apart is now usable again, but it's a little bit dirty. I feel like I need to refinish the seats. Let me show you those. The seats are quite mossy. When it's dry, you can sit here and your shorts don't get stained, but when it's wet outside, uh, it's not the nicest place to sit. So reach, rich, peach, pitch, and then there's also beach. You go to the beach and there's lots of sand, and then there's another B word, which is actually not a very nice word, so I'm not going to say it out loud, but it does rhyme with rich and pitch, so we'll just go from there. Anyways, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you're having a good week. I'm uh, going to be a little bit busy for a couple of days, but you'll still be seeing this video on Friday. Thanks to those of you that came out for the live stream this Thursday morning. I'm making this video on a Thursday, by the way. And I uh, hope you have a good weekend. I'll see you next Tuesday on my bigger channel with a new video. And I'll see you next Wednesday on this channel with another short lesson. Bye.